Good morning. Two years ago, Stella Vita finished at Tarifa, the southern point of Spain. Today, we are in Morocco, where we will be driving coming weeks with Stella Terra to the Sahara. Stella Terra is the world's first solar-powered car that's also able to drive off the road. And by doing so, we don't need any charging stations. And Morocco is the perfect place to test uh, extensively Stella Terra, to see in the various landscapes of Morocco what the power of the sun can do. Today we will be starting from Tanger, the northern point of Morocco, where we will be driving through the mountains to Chef Chouen. So very excited for that. kilometers from Tanger to Chateauen and we just arrived we're just setting up the car right now um, it was actually a really first exciting start for us uh, it was really nice to drive in the in the car for the first time on the road in Morocco and we're really excited what the next days will bring for us hi we're near Chateauen and today is the first off-road day let's go So today we had a great off-road trail, our first off-road trail, and we had an amazing drive. We used as little battery energy as possible. Had a small technical problem on the way, but we fixed that and uh, yeah, it was a great drive. Uh, so we just did a uh, off-road course, a track, um, and after we went back on the road, the knuckle arm should right off. Uh, so right now we're fixing uh, replacement parts to uh, repair the car and continue our journey to the uh, hotel.
today we start really early and we drove to the mountains and we saw the sun coming up. It's really beautiful. And after that we had a little bit of a difficult start, but now it's going really well. And now we stopped for lunch at this beautiful lake. So we built up our solar panels very fast to get as much out of the sun as possible. So we made it to our final stop of the day at our hotel just outside of Fes. Uh, we had a long second stint of the day, we had a few problems, so we had to stop a few times. Uh, but we made it here. Uh, we have a few fixes to make tonight, but it will be a tough night, long night. Uh, as we have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Uh, but I'm sure we'll make it and uh, let's have a good night of sleep. So today at the start of the day the car operated without any problems. We climbed to a height of 1,900 meters without any problems. The motors and cooling, everything worked fine. Um, afterwards uh, we hit some potholes and one of our tie rods broke, which make our car unsteerable. Uh, then we decided to place a car in our trailer for the last 50 kilometers today uh, to go to the hotel. Luckily we have some good mechanical engineers on our team. Uh, which can rebuild the uh, tie rods so that our car can uh, drive again. Uh, this afternoon we're going to recharge our battery by the sun as much as possible so that we can do an off-road trail the day after tomorrow. Today was a tense day. Um, we had to check, of course, that all the fixes we did yesterday uh, were okay. Uh, turns out they were, so we're really happy about that. Um, we had a great drive today. We were even able to go back to the place where we had to load the car into the trailer two days ago uh, because we used a lot less energy than expected. So now we can still do the tour as a whole and we're really uh, happy to see that. just arrived in Eregidia. After driving almost 100 kilometers through the mountains and seeing the landscape change, we've almost reached the Sahara. Tomorrow will be the day that we accomplish our goal.
but it's mine is no We've made it. We have finished our challenge. Driving to the Sahara 100% on the energy of the sun, both on as off the road. We had a wonderful year and a fantastic challenge here in Morocco. We have shown what is possible on the power of the sun. And with this, that a sustainable future can be beautiful. And now it's your turn to help us accelerate the energy transition.